Devils. I'm Noel. And I'm Logan. Today is Tuesday, November 17th, and it's Lab Week. Remember, when we come back on Thursday, we attend classes 5 through 8. Your books are still on sale. Students can purchase these on the school website or in room A303. They will remain $65 until Christmas break. Students can personalize their yearbooks with a name stamp for an additional $15. Congratulations to the Beta Club for being awarded School of Distinction again. This is a combined effort for winning state convention competitions and growth. The ASFAB will take place this week on November 19th for 8A students and November 20th for B-Day students in the auditorium. It is a great career interest test for students to take to see what cre careers would be great for them. Students will go directly to the auditorium and it is not too late to sign up for the free, for the free test and guidance. Lebanon High School hosts us selling t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies. T-shirts are $15, sweatshirts are $20, and hoodies are $25. They will be taking orders until November 20th. The Book Club is hosting a book swap this week in the library before and after school on Thursday and Friday. This is a great chance to trade and get other books for free. Last week, we raised a total of 24,589 cans for our canned food drive. Thank you to everyone that participated. The club that wins the pizza party will be banned with a total of 3,683 cans. And the class rewards will go to third place Miss Leggett with a donut party, second place Miss Mosley with a pizza party, and first place Miss Robertson with a Chick-fil-A party. Today's segment of LHS Has Class will spotlight a few of our foreign language classes and Miss Alsop's computer science class. Ms. Alsop's computer science had to solve an escape game, and Ms. Bilek and Ms. Davis's classes celebrated French and Spanish culture. Take a look. The activity Ms. Bilek's students were doing in French class this week is a culture activity that goes along with La Chassant, which is translated to All Saints Day. It is a Catholic holiday that is celebrated in France on November 1st and is similar to the Day of the Dead in Mexican culture. 
For this activity, the students walked around the classroom and answered questions about the tombstones of famous French people. The tombstones were completely in French, and the students had to translate the French to English to successfully complete the activity. The classroom itself was turned into the Paris catacombs, which are underground burial sites and passageways used for religious practices. Later this week, we'll explore physics, criminal justice, dissecting brains, and much more. If you want to be a part of the eSports Rocket League team here at LHS, signups are happening now. See Mr. Holmes in room A105 for more information. Welcome back, Blue Devils. We hope you had a great weekend. My name is Logan, and this is your sports news. Last Thursday, your Tennessee Titans faced off against the Indianapolis Colts in an AFC South showdown. This game was very important, as the winner would take sole possession of first place in the division. The Titans quickly put points on the board as they were lead by a score of 17-13. The second half was no competition for the Colts, as they ran away with the game in a heartbeat. Ryan Tannehill only threw for 15 completions for 147 yards and one touchdown, while Derrick Henry accounted for 103 yards on 19 carries. Our offense wasn't enough as the Colts took the game away from the Titans with a 34-17 victory. Each team is now 6-3 as they prepare for their next game. Tennessee will face off against the Ravens on Sunday and turn right around to play the Colts the following week. Though the NHL season concluded almost two months ago, there hasn't been much news lately. Yesterday, Adidas released the reverse retro uniforms for all 31 clubs, and they were beautiful. Some of my personal favorites were the Ducks, Coyotes, and Blue Jackets. Of course, my Predators didn't disappoint. Their uniform consisted of some very unique details. At first glance, it looks very similar to the first ever uniform the Predators wore in their first season. The speed nicks and the numbers depict that fierce, vivid appearance that I feel is great for the organization. The jersey then included the famed Sabretooth Tiger as well as the Nashville Gold. In my opinion, I think it's a great jersey. The silver shoulders and sleeves pull the colors out greatly. I would love to see a navy blue jersey though. Navy blue has been the secondary color of Nashville since they transitioned to gold in 2011. We will likely see these uniforms worn against division rivals such as the Chicago Blackhawks, Dallas Stars, and St. Louis Blues. High school hockey is in full swing as we are nearing the conclusion of the regular season. We have four Blue Devils who are representing LHS. Those are Riley Littleton, Blake Bristow, Anthony Papinetti, and Lennon Palmer. Our boys in the Mount Juliet hockey team face off against Ravenwood in a very important game. Just like they have the entire season, our boys came right out of the gate. This game was a quick one as Mount Juliet prevailed by a score of 4 to nothing. Senior Lyndon Palmer tallied one goal, and in fact, he is leading the league with 28 points, tallying 16 goals and 12 assists in 9 games. Fellow teammates aren't far behind as Michael Settle and Jake Panter have combined for 35 points. Their next game is tomorrow versus Summit. Yesterday, your Lady Blue Devil Bowlers took on the Lady Hawks of Merrill Hyde in their last official match before the District 12 tournament. Still a person down, the Lady Devils came to the match with one thing in mind, remain undefeated. At the end of the second game, the win was locked, and the Lady Blue Devils rolled their way to an undefeated regular season, defeating the Lady Hawks 25-2. This week, basketball season starts, and our Devilettes started off tonight at 7 p.m. with the Hall of Fame game against Oakland. JV plays at 5. BDM will host the game live from our Facebook page, LHS Blue Devil News. We will share the link and today on social media, and Dr. Walters will also tweet it out. The boys play Thursday against Kenwood at 7.30 and JV at 6. Students can get into both games for free this week. The filming of the boys' hype video will take place soon. It's always a fun time and it's not too late to join our BDM team. Come see Miss Nick if you're interested.
That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Noelle. And I'm Logan. Have a great day, LHS.